I'm here with Shippensburg University pitcher Mark Curtis. Mark, you had a really exciting summer league trip this summer. Uh, you got to go pitch in Cuba. Yeah. Uh, have you ever visited another country before? Uh, I visited uh, the Bahamas in, uh, I think, fourth grade for okay. a little family vacation. But other than that, no. All right. And have you ever pitched in another country before? Uh, no. No, I have not. So well, this was a first-time experience for me. What was that experience like for you to get to pitch in Cuba? Uh, it was really, really surreal. Um, you know, at the time that it was going on, I still, it still felt like I wasn't there. Like, it was really uh, in the moment. I mean, after it all happened, you really took a step back and realized what a big opportunity it was. The team you pitched against, the Pinel de Rio, uh, what was it like taking the mound against one of the more successful Cuban National League teams? Well, I didn't find out they were one of the best uh, Cuban national teams until the end of the game, so I wasn't really worried about that, so I kind of just stayed in my own game and it didn't really matter who they were, no matter who you're going to put out there against me, I'm still going to pitch my game and not to the other team. Did it mean a lot for you to pitch in Cuba as a member of the Collegiate League team? Uh, yeah, it, it did mean a lot. Um, whenever I first found out about the opportunity, I was very honored and uh, grateful to have the opportunity because of the people I've met in the past and the people that have put me in that situation and I, for that opportunity. Mm -hmm. So it was, a, it was a big deal to me and I'm still very honored and very grateful for that. What was the Cuban culture like? Obviously that's something a lot different from our athletic culture or our culture in general really. What was the whole experience like? Uh, they were very nice people down there. They are very nice. They, um, they welcomed the, the guests, us, and um, the culture is pretty cool. It was like an old movie, really. <laughs> they had all the old buildings, all the old cars, um, but it was, it was like a poor, it was very poor, a third world country, mm -hmm. you know, so. Kind of like how you'd picture Miami maybe a couple hundred years ago or something like that. Yeah, that, I thought it looked like a really run down Italy or something like that. Okay. So you guys had a dinner in the Hotel uh, Nacional in Havana. What was uh, Havana like and really the hotel and everything, it's really historic there. What was that kind of like to see? Oh, uh, the hotel was beautiful. I mean, the rooms looked like they were still in the 60s a little bit, but the, uh, they kept very good care of everything. Um, mm -hmm. uh, they had like restaurants and stuff in the, in the hotel and they had like a theater and whatnot you can go to at night. But the city, the city was uh, really cool. Like, I, I don't know, every night we went out and uh, went out on the town a little bit and explored around and you know you could always find your way back to the hotel because it was always the one that stuck out the most. Gotcha. So. And overall what were some of your favorite parts of the trip? Um, wow I mean I can't say that one thing was so great because really everything that happened was eye-opening and it was also cool the experience was unbelievable uh, I'd say my favorite part was probably going out to all the different restaurants and mm -hmm. having like five course meals and stuff like that. Pretty much, what did the trip mean to you? I mean, it was an exciting experience for you that you'll kind of carry with you? Yeah, the, the trip mean, it meant everything to me, you know. I'm still, it was, it's going to take me a long time before I realize, you know, what it symbolizes and uh, how much of an experience, how once in a lifetime opportunity that was. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. Thank you for coming in.